Do you want to see a broke 17-year-old propose to his arch enemy's daughter while on the run from a murder charge? Or maybe you'd like to see a spoiled brat kill a police officer, then mourn her death at her funeral. Outer Banks talks about John B. After finding half a billion worth of gold, he found himself in really hot waters. Our boy's been framed for murder by his girlfriend's father. Because the greedy bastard wants it all to himself. Now caught between the devil and the blue sea, he chose the latter and dragged his lady friend along with him. He might have lost the cash, but love is the only wealth he needs. Especially when everyone thinks he died in a tropical storm and he can just chill in the Bahamas for a few days. Too bad his undercover ways don't work on the money hungry. And the promise of a bounty turned the same captain who saved them into a snitching rat. Sorry B, you're not done running quite yet. So you might as well adapt to the situation. The art of hiding in plain sight takes a whole new level with these two. So don't act all surprised when you see them swaying to the applause of minimal wage workers at 5 star hotels. Fake it till you make it baby! Being the center of attention is the latest form of laying low apparently. It's them versus the world now. If only B wasn't a lion trouble magnet. After promising Sarah he wouldn't go after the gold, she dozed off for a bit and, well, he went after the gold. You had one job, Johnny. And it's all your fault Sarah got kidnapped. The narc pirate who dropped the dime on them for the reward wants his cash price immediately. So he chose the classic damsel in distress tactic. Give yourself up or we'll squeeze the life out of your main squeeze, boy. To make matters worse, not even a 100k worth of gold could make these criminal bullies back up. They could sense there's more where that came from, and they want their unfair share of the treasure. Meanwhile, the pokes, who still think the duo's dead, decide to avenge their bestie's life through vandalism and by being really, really mean to Mr. Cameron. Can you please shut up? But because that didn't terrorize him in ways they thought it would, they turned into literal stalkers. As fate would have it, another person witnessed the murder of Sheriff Peterkin, and the hush money he took to shut up is starting to weigh on his conscience. So he asked for more. Maybe some additional weight in his pocket could even things out? Loose lips sink ships, or they simply get you murdered. Like son, like father. Daddy shows the homicidal road, and nothing can get between him and his beloved golden blocks. Bye bye Gavin, you should have known not to come between a man and his psycho son. But hey, at least some good came out of your murder. Stalker pokes have the entire thing on tape. It's time someone puts an end to Ward's reign of terror. Sadly, it won't be them. The kiddos might have recorded the whole thing, but their clumsiness got the camera broken and the evidence destroyed. Aww. And for whatever reason, they never attempted to fix it nor to retrieve the memory card. But what do I know? What I do know is that Ward is off the hook for now. And he's not the only one growing his death count portfolio. Sarah's brother Raph, who definitely would not pass the vibe check, is on his serial killer coming of age and he can't repress his villainy anymore. Killing a police officer and getting away with it wasn't enough to feed his newfound thirst for blood. When his attempt to drown the entire bestie squad didn't succeed, he moved on to the next girl that gets on his nerves, his very own baby sister. Their paths crossed once, and he made sure she got the traitor treatment she deserved. Soon enough, and after countless attempts to revive her from a creepy underground doctor, she was pronounced dead. R.I.P. Cook Princess, guess that's the price of following your heart. Or is it? By the power of romance invested in John B., the strength of his love resurrected her. Guess not even Azrael could stand in the way of these two lovebirds. And looks like this time they made it out in one piece. Would be a shame if history were to repeat itself. To be continued. Oh.